Hi guys and um, welcome to my live Sunday car boot sale haul broadcast video. Um, like many of you guys, I was out today and um, popped into a, my localish boot sale. Um, I say it's localish because it is still a good 30, 30 minute drive to get to to get to it in the morning. Um, and um, it wasn't obviously going to be quite as big as it could have been um, partly due to the fact that there was a little bit of rain forecast and I know some of you guys um, have been reading on the on the UK resellers Facebook page didn't go out or found that that it wasn't you know was no point um, but luckily down here where I am uh, it was just a threat of rain and none actually materialized although I think it did have a little bit of an impact on how many people were out there in terms of sellers and what who the sellers were you know i don't think there was many like new sellers there there was the regular um dealers etc but still i mean i didn't pick up a massive amount of goods but in my my recent vein i've been picking up items that i think will do me well do me okay so i'm gonna go through a few of the items and obviously if you guys have got any questions or comments or anything like that i'm more than happy to answer them and um, you know you can. I've, I've enabled like questions as well, so ask your audience. Okay, okay. Questions. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, so what I'll do without uh, too much further ado is get going and show you guys what's out there. Um, you know, in terms of my pickups. Um, okay, first item I'm going to go through is going to be uh toy related it is something i have not seen a lot of recently um maybe it's just one of those things a bit of bad luck but it, it's it's definitely worth picking up um toys are always great um great sellers uh, especially when you consider what their retail prices etc are and um i was i was actually there and it, these guys that i bought from are regular boot sellers. Um, I think they um, they're kind of like they always seem to have uh, comic books and action figures and that kind of thing. And I'm always keen to go over there and look because they're quite reasonably priced and and they know their stuff. And I basically went for these um, WWE wrestling figures and uh, these are all mattel figures i've got triple h here um it does help if you know your wrestling and um you know shamefully i do have to admit i did used to watch a lot of wrestling when i was a bit younger and even now i'm partial to catch a bit of wwe uh, or wwf as it used to be but anyway i've got a triple h these are mattel figures um from 2010 i've got a sheamus you see he's a bit pastier red hair um i've got a john cena he's pretty popular as well got a batista as well um and i've got a big show as well and they only want and i've also got this guy um these are all mattel figures so i must stress that these are the more uh, desirable figures however there there's, there's two main companies there's jacks and there's mattel um jacks figures can also be desirable it just depends on the actual wrestler etc um but what i've got to say is um that is the um the, these were all Mattel figures. I'm not sure who that is, so if anyone can recognize him, that would be awesome, but um, I'll have to figure that out. But but all of these figures, they're, they're actually pretty detailed, the Mattel ones. And by the way, you can tell whether they're Mattel or whether they're Jacks by looking at the bottom of their feet. It always states whether they're Mattel or whether they're Jacks figures. Like I said, Mattel are the ones that you kind of ideally want to get. Now, I only had to pay a pound a figure, which is fantastic. So I've got six um, figures and six pretty popular wrestlers, um, especially this guy here as well, Big Show and Triple H Batista. I mean, you, you see the detail detail on, on Batista's back there. He's got all these tattoos going on. Pretty pretty good um, figures, pretty nice action figures really. Um, I reckon as a, a bundle of six, um, I paid six pounds, I think I could comfortably get 30 for these as a bundle of six, um, which is pretty good return really. I can't go wrong, cannot complain. So I was very happy with that. Like I said, I don't know who this fella is, but he is also Mattel and bundling him in with the likes of the big show, Batista, John Cena, Seamus and Triple H will mean I should get about 30 pounds, which is fantastic. So that's one of the first items from the same guys. I also picked up this guy, really large figure. This is is a Jax figure from the year 2005 and um, this is actually quite a rare 
wrestling figure. So if you do see this gruesome looking fella, he's called um, the Great Kali. Um, I think he had the dubious honor of um, being like the tallest man or the biggest man in the world at one point, um, which means he had some abnormal growth. So, um, And he was in 2005. This guy can get you around 15 pounds if you're patient um, on his own, um, comfortably get 12 pounds, um, no problem at all, 2005. And that's a Jack's figure. So like I said, Jack's figures can be valuable. Um, you just got to pick and choose. But the Mattel bundle there that I showed you was fantastic. Fantastic. So spent um, in total like six pounds on the Mattel and then one there. So was it was it six? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Six pounds on the Mattel figures, one pound on this guy. So seven pounds in total. In in total, I reckon I could get about at least forty quid back. So it's pretty good return. So that that's the first item. So just having a smoothie. Um, next item I want to show you guys is this. Um, this is actually still. This is another wrestling based figure, so I'm pretty happy with that. This isn't massive value, but this is still sealed in the box. Um, you can see Rey Mysterio Jr. This is the uh, Rumblers Rampage um, Deva Stadium. Uh, it's like a pocket stadium type thing. And um, this basically I bought for three pounds um, and uh, retail, I think on eBay, you could probably get around 15 to 20. I have seen people get 20. The box isn't in perfect condition. However, it's still pretty damn good. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. So that was three pounds. That'll go to for about 15. Now, here's a pretty good one. This is like a, a, a be on the lookout for. Um, guys, by the way, um, there's five people watching this, which is fantastic. So if you guys have any questions, um, you know, please feel free to um, ask them. I've enabled questions and answers um, in, in this actual um, video thing. So you can ask questions and stuff in the, in the Hangout. Um, but I'll move on to the next item in the meantime. Bo -bo. here we go now this is a bit of a bolo or a be on the lookout for like um you guys are aware i didn't know that at the time so this is actually something that's kind of i suppose important to talk about sometimes it's good to just trust your gut and and you know especially when you're talking about the kind of amounts that are typically involved at a boot fair it's not often that you're going to have the dilemma of do i spend 30 40 pounds on an item at a boot fair it's quite rare that that happens and and obviously when you've come up with that decision you've got to think about it now lady only was asking one pound for this i had no idea that this was going to be valuable or not this is movie maker by parker games so it's like a, it's a board game i haven't been buying many board games recently because the ones I have bought have stuck around. You can see the CNET, the Pokemon, sorry, the Disney Pharaoh game. I've made a few bad choices, I guess. But, um, you know, it, so I try to be careful. But this particular board game, I mean, it looks really cool. I mean, you can look at the actual case. It looks really nice, like Movie Maker, and it's got some lovely artwork. This goes for between 40 and 60 pounds, and I paid a pound for that. So assuming it's all there, which it looks to be, I do have to check it out, unfortunately, which is another sucky part of buying board games. I have to go through and find out whether it's got all the necessary pieces so I can say that it's complete. But my one pound should get me a comfortable 40 um, in the 50s, maybe. Um, so that's a great, great find for me. I was very happy with that. Um, also, um, I picked up a couple of 3DS games. These were three pounds each. Um, again, I took a punt. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, three pounds is not bad. I've seen Sims um, 3 pets sell for 15, so that's not bad. This, however, is more of a six, seven pound game. So that if I just bought that on its own, I would have been a bit um, annoyed. However, I bought both of them for six pounds. That alone will get me 15 back. That can get me about six, seven back. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that. That's not bad. Not as good as the, the movie maker board game, but definitely get the movie maker board game. Do um okay? Tom Flynn asks, uh, "Do I use uh, Movie Maker to source? Um, sorry, do I use Gumtree to source?" And the answer is uh, yes. I do. Um, I do use Gumtree. It's difficult because it's very competitive. Uh, Gumtree, you can get some really awesome stuff, and I have picked it up. But you really do have to be on the nose. Um, I'll give you guys an example. Just this Friday, there was someone selling a Super NES bundle. They 
didn't quite know what they had, I think, because they were selling the Super NES with 20 games for £40. One of the games was called Captain Commando, which can, on its own, bring in about £100 on eBay. When I rung the guy, someone had already offered him double. Um, and double is, you know, I think that's stupid. If the, if the guy's asking 40 why would you offer him 80 I don't know, but it, it happened. I lost out. But I saw the ad two hours after it had posted. Two hours on an ad like that, it's just, it's just ridiculous. You have to be on it instantly. Um, also, um, Tom Flynn TV asks, do I use Amazon FBA? No, I don't. Um, not currently. I don't use it currently. Um, I am looking at some point to. Uh, the thing with Amazon FBA is Amazon customers are more demanding than, believe it or not, even eBay customers. Hence, you've got to uh, you've got to be picky with the items. Um, if you if you actually watch uh, Tom the English Picker's videos, um, he will he will state a number of occasions where he some items he just sells on eBay because conditions not quite good enough um, but still um, I've also seen videos of a guy called Carl Smiler Option he's on the Facebook group uh, as well he's more into FBA he probably will be able to give you like a better answer on that but that, that's my my current status on it I will do at some point though that's my I would like to um, also picked up this um, without a controller I just got to the stall as a guy had bought five PlayStation 1 controllers for like five pounds, which is a great buy. Um, but he also took the controller for this, but luckily I've got PS1 controllers. So I managed to get the PS1, the charger and the cables for three pounds, I think it was, which is pretty good. So that's another item. I got another PS1, again, just unit only. Um, oh, it's got a little game in there as well, that's nice. Um, again, I paid three pounds for that. Um, Typically, when you can get a complete PS1 with the cables, you can sell it for about £20, so 3 to £20. Pretty good. Um, I spent a little bit much on this, but I got a PlayStation 2 Slim. I got, uh, the with the charger, I got two controllers here. Yeah, two controllers, which is good. And the remote as well. Where is it? Where's the remote? Do -do. DVD remote. Um, it comes with the iToy game inside it as well. But I've got lots of games anyway, so that's not a problem. But yeah, it came with an iToy as well. Um, I got that lot for a tenner. Um, Ten pounds is okay because if you've got lots of crappy PS2 games, uh, you can bundle them up like five or ten of them, and you'll comfortably get 35, 40 pounds for a PS2 Slim. Um, especially if you've got bits like this as well. But I don't. I, I'm not sure if that. I can't see the the U the um kind of dongle for the PlayStation on that. But I'll have to just check that out. But so that was ten pounds. So that's an okay buy. Um, you know, not not bad. Can't complain. Um. Also picked this up for a pound, which is fantastic. This is an old school Philips dictation machine. Um, I sold one of these recently for about uh, 20 pounds, which is a pretty good return on investment from a pound. Um, vintage ones are always better. Now with brands like Philips, it's always worth checking out the back. And if you look at where it's made, where it's made has a massive impact on, 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 on its value. This is actually made in Austria. So um, as soon as you see a Philips item made in Austria, you know it's proper retro vintage um, item. It's, it's going to be really nicely built, really solid build quality. I mean, it's little touches that you notice. For example, the, the, the battery release on most common machines that you just slide on this one, you've got a little pop-up button. Um, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things that you kind of definitely want to pick up for a pound. You can't go wrong. That will easily go for about 20 if I wait long enough. So that's that. Um, Okay, another question from Tom Flynn. Um, I may be buying a job of old cameras, not sure yet, from Gumtree. Do you do specific searches or Gumtree or put wanted ads? Um, what I tend to do with Gumtree is, um, with Gumtree, I tend to kind of, I do have saved searches. Um, so you can do like a saved searches for games in your local area or GameCube or N64, iPod, whatever you fancy looking for. Um, you can just have saved searches and then every morning just go in and check or, or during the day when you've got a moment, just quickly go in and check if anything's popped up. Um, and and it's, it's definitely... Um, um, worth doing. I don't put up 
wanted ads because um, I think wanted ads just attract um, like unnecessary kind of uh, people. Uh, you'll get people offering you things for, for silly prices, uh, which is a shame, but it, it's what happens. So I don't put up any wanted ads. I just have saved searches. You can save your favorite searches. And then um, when you've got a moment, just, just click on there. And, it, and it's kind of luck of the draw. You might, you might click on there just as a fresh ad's been placed for an item um, and you'll be able to pick it up. So that's what I think of that. Um, Next item I want to show you guys. Oh, this is a really good seller. Um, this is uh, the Le uh, Guitar Hero uh, 3 R Legends of Rock. Um, this is the PlayStation 4 version with the Les Paul controller. I paid £10 for this, um, and this will comfortably fetch 40 uh, So that should be easily fetch 40 or get more than 40 but i can get 40 for that so um that's from 10 pounds spent um whenever you're buying playstation uh three uh con guitar controllers the wireless ones make sure that the dongle is there because the dongle is the valuable part so i checked that out it has the dongle it has the game um it's got the original box even though the sleeve is ripped and a bit tatty but that's a nice easy uh that's a nice easy uh bit of profit there so 10 pounds to to 40 pounds okay uh let me see what else I can show you. Got a couple of shoes. These are like, these were interesting. I'm not 100% sure on the value of these, but I think I paid two pounds for these. Um, these are like Nike kind of trekking shoes. Um, I've not actually seen Nike trekking shoes before, so I'm, I, I was interested to see those. Um, I think they're pretty, pretty cool. Um, probably maybe 15 pounds, maybe 20 pounds, but for two pounds, they're not bad. They're a good size. They're in good condition. Just need a bit of a clean. So I picked those up for two pounds. Um, same with these as well. I picked up these Asics uh, boots, as well, Asics running shoes, GT twenty one tens. I've seen new ones sell for about thirty five. So used, I'll be looking at right, again fifteen to twenty pound range. Again, I paid like two pounds for those, so that's still fine. Um, another pair of shoes. These are Astro Turf football boots. Um, Adidas Astro Turf football boots. I'm not 100% sure on the model, but again, at two pounds, they're not bad. And the, the sole is in very good condition. They're pretty stylish, nice looking shoes. So I should get at least 15, to 15 pounds probably for those um, from two. So those are okay as well. Now, <clears throat> let's have a look. This is a, a really good buy as well. I, and I normally talk about getting vid videos. Um, this guy was actually selling a brand new one. It was sealed, and um, it was it, it was completely sealed. And I actually felt a bit bad, but I was like, "Do you mind if I open it?" So I actually went to open it, and I just sliced the the cello tape. And I just took a peek, and I saw the controller was all sealed. Um, the remote control was all sealed. So this is a brand new Sony VCR that the guy has bought and never opened. Um, and it's a Sony SLBS 820, um, and I, he wanted 10. I, I got it in the end for seven, which I think is a very good price. And because it's brand new, I reckon it's a comfortable 50 pounds, maybe maybe a bit more, 50 maybe, 50 definitely though for for a brand new sealed VCR. So I was very happy with that. That was awesome. So that's definitely something to look out for. Um, now. One of the one of the last things I've got to show you. Um, another question from Tom Flynn. Okay, let's have a look. How much money do you bring out to to boost out? What's your maximum limit? Um, I would honestly take as much as you're comfortable carrying with you. Um, it, it, there's no easy question, uh, no easy answer. Um, sometimes you might take a couple of hundred pounds with you and end up using it all and still needing to to have cash or you might take half of that and not spend it so it really is hit and miss um it's just what you're comfortable with um it, 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 you know judge it on, on on your own personal situation whether you whether you are looking and what kind of items you're going to be looking for um for example if you're someone that's going to be looking for a lot of shoes and clothes things like that they tend to not you know be as expensive so you're not going to need as much cash um if you're looking at, at buying lots of consoles and games and you're an early bird you want to get there you're going to need to have a bit of cash because 
pretty much everybody knows that you know the value of these things so they're, they're going to charge more for them you're not going to get n64s with games for a fiver anymore it's just not likely to happen um so bear that in mind so look at what you're um look at what you're looking to buy um i mean i didn't take a massive amount i think i th i think i spent well under 100 pounds today to be honest um but the items i've picked up that i've shown so far they're good returns now here's another item that no one was looking at um it's an akai it comes with its instruction manual i've actually tested it as well and it sounds fantastic this is awesome call cool. look at this this is fantastic this is an akai twin speaker sorry twin tape four speaker system you've actually got speakers on the front and on the top here that is proper awesome retroness it's built really well even though it's made in taiwan it's built really well it's solid the buttons have got really nice click to them i've tried out the tape it works fine i've tried out the radio it works fine um you've got a really cool tuning dial on the side there um it's just really retro really cool um now depending on um how how you sell it uh, some people have put this uh, similar items like this up for auction and gotten like a tenner, a uh, fiver and some postage, so like a tenner or something like that. Um, but this, if you put it on a buy it now, you should comfortably be able to get a, a decent watch. I think at least 40 to 50, maybe even more um, bec because it's kind of like a boom box. Uh, it, yeah, it is just really nice. It is, it is just fantastic. It's built lovely, um, and it, and it, and the best part is it only cost me one pound fifty. So nobody was looking at it. No one gave a damn about it. Everyone was just walking past it like it was just nothing. And 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 as a bonus, I even got like. <laughs> let me just show you guys. There you go. Oh, it's got like a slow opening mechanism as well. It even came with this tape, an introduction to macular degeneration. Now that is a funky audio tape. Um, it was like a lecture on this horrible disease, macular uh, degeneration. Um, but it's it's just what was in there. How weird is that? But yeah, macular degeneration tape in the Akai um, AM FM stereo radio twin cassette high speed dubbing recorder. So that I reckon at least 50, maybe more depending on you know how long i can um you know depending on how how long i can um you know wait out for it so definitely uh, a good a good buy there so i mean i think those really are my like big buys so like to to kind of just top it off like i quickly show you guys that have joined got the wrestlers there for seven pounds that's worth about 40 because they're mattel so remember mattel wrestlers and if anyone sees who or knows who this guy is let me know because i haven't got the foggiest it looks familiar but i'm not sure who it is so that was that was the first thing that i was happy about guitar hero on the ps3 easy 10 bought it for 10 pounds comes with the dongle sells for 40. the rumbler rampage the 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 uh, rumbler rampage devastadium bought for three should sell for 15 to 20. brand new vcr in the box for seven that should be an easy 50. oh one other item actually i'll see how i'm gonna pick this up now this is a bit of a funny one evan born oh thank you <laughs> if, if that is evan born then thank you very much <laughs> cheers tom now this is a bit of a weird one it's not something I'd normally pick up, but I thought I'd try it because it says it was an Atari monitor. I paid three pounds for this. Um, it powers on, and the guy that I bought it from is trustworthy. And you know, he he was like, it does work. He used it for some some kind of program, like C. I don't know, some kind of audio program. But these can go for a if you wait maybe about 20 to 30 pounds it's not actually that heavy but i paid three pounds for that um i'm not sure what I'm, how i'm gonna sell it it's not actually that heavy crts are normally a lot heavier than this um but yeah that's a funky atari monitor from an atari st computer so i mean i mean three pounds if i can get 20 to 30 pounds that's not the worst deal in the world but i think i got caught up in the moment with that one and picked that up but you know i'm still okay with that still still not not 
not too upset with myself for for springing on that. Um, and obviously then I've got the DS games, 3DS games, a couple of console bits. But like I said, I think one of my best buys definitely has to be this, um, if I can get it from all this stuff. Uh, that has to be one of my best buys there. Movie Maker. So I'd say that's probably my happiest one. <laughs> um, you know, Movie Maker, bought for a pound, sells for about 40 to 60. So be on the lookout for that one, guys. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, Evan Bourne. Yeah, you said that, which is awesome. The Sony, uh, brand new Sony VCR, the model, um, the model of the Sony VCR is... Um, SLV SC820. Um, when they're used, they sell for about 30, but because it's new, I reckon I can get 50 for it, which which should be no problem at all. Um, VCRs do go for a lot, so that's that's that. So that's pretty much it, guys. So you know, not a massive amount of items, um, but still good some some good items. Um, I'm pretty happy um, with that, um, and I should get some good returns on those. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the haul. Thanks for watching live. The the eight or nine of you that did watch it live, that's fantastic. I appreciate it. Um, and obviously, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section. This video will be up on my YouTube channel. If you like the video, press the like button, dislike it dislike you know that's fine um and i will see you guys next time and i'm going to be looking forward to watching um the the hangout that's happening this evening at eight o'clock as well i'll be definitely tuning into that um so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys later